You ever know a woman by the name of Mary B. Cuddy? No, sir. Who is Mary B. Cuddy? Mary B. Cuddy? Is as fine a woman as ever walked. Oh. Are you an angel? You're not dead. Help me. If I cut you down, will you do what I tell you to? Hell yes, I will. Anything. I got a job of work for you. My name is Cuddy. Mary B. Cuddy. Where's Mr. Cuddy? I live uncommonly alone. What's the job? Three women in this country have lost their minds. Their husbands can't care for them properly. You and I are going to take them back across the river to Iowa. I need someone who can hunt and guide and help with the animals on the trip. It's your job, and you swore to do it. That's why I set you free. Three crazy women for five weeks is a lot more than I bargained for. Your journey will be long, difficult, and dangerous. I expect it will. Are you scared? A little. You're going to meet three kinds of people out here. Wagon trains that don't want to see crazy people, freighters who will surely rape you, and you're going to meet Indians who will kill you. Dear Lord. I've ridden all this way in that box. You must have had an awful winter. We did, ma'am. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, look down upon thy daughter. Bless her in this undertaking. Grant her thy strength. Guide her with thy grace that she may carry home these poor souls. We beg of thee. Amen. What do they want? Whatever we got. If they think we're worth the trouble, we're dead. Something happens to me, you get in the wagon quick as you can. You shoot the women in the head and then shoot yourself. Perhaps you don't realize what a grand thing you're doing taking these poor, helpless women home. If you don't, I assure you, I do. This might be the finest, most generous act of your life.